I think most people want to share. Um, and so then it's just a matter of paying attention and being a good listener. So I live in a, a city with about 150,000 people in it. Um, and it's, it has a, um, an accessible scale, the city, and meaning you could travel from one end to the other um, by bike in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. And um, there is a pretty strong presence of nature embedded in the city. Um, there's some s sprawling parts of it, though, that are also growing. So um, I worry about the city that I currently live in and the aspects of it that I love, the, the size of it, the, how navigable it is, how accessible it is for someone that's young to live there, um, versus the parts of it that are growing with less uh, care for um, maybe the health of the city and just they're just growing um, in a sprawling, you know, sort of suburban way. So coming from Europe where I feel like I've seen the cities that are, um, they have traits that I love about the town that I live in, I would go back and I would want to be an advocate for those, those ways of living mindfully and, and with a, a more balanced life, I think, than what you get in the the sprawling, <laughs> the uncontrolled growth that is common in America. I think I think living um, in cities that are more connected, um, where you're not necessarily depending on your car to get everywhere, um, where you have a better balance between um, the internal life that you have with your own family and with your work, but then also the experiences that you share with neighbors and just strangers that also live in the town with you that maybe have a different experience from you, their uh, different race or ethnicity or religion or different income level. Um, so uh, cities that are more integrated, I think, uh, would be better. <laughs>